Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna talk about all my scooter gear starting from the most common helmet to something that I don't wear too often, which is my super protective gear for the faster scooters. So, starting off with the most common being the helmet. Now, most of my scooters go under 20 miles an hour and this is usually fine for me. Pop it on, clip it on, and good to go. This is the cell phone mount that I prefer for my scooters by Lamacall. I'll put links down below. They also have this really cool cell phone holder. Let me demonstrate how this works. So essentially you open this up as long as it's unlocked. This is a Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, which is a pretty large phone. And I'm gonna demonstrate that it can actually take this phone and it fits just fine. Now when you pop this in, you can also lock it from the back and when you lock it this won't open so it stays secure and when you're riding it does not shake too much it really just depends on the scooter itself but it's pretty good better than this in terms of shake shakeability if that's even a word now you can adjust this however you want you know place it any way you want and it has a decent amount of freedom to move and then when you're done you could just tighten it up which i had and then it usually stays pretty solid. Now doing a quick comparison between these two, I prefer this one over this one for the following reasons. Number one, the quality of this is better. It, it feels more stable. It feels like it's heavier duty plastic. This part of it is metal of some sort. And you know, you could twist this and then lock it in uh, versus this is just tightening it in. And the same is true for this, you can, you have, a lot of degrees of freedom with this as well uh, but it's this part of it I mean it works fine honestly but this part is higher quality I mean just just the parts in general again you can move this around and then when you're done it's just overall better quality they both have locking mechanisms so if you were to open this up you could lock it and it would stay in place and then unlock open it leave it in open state and it come out the same is true for this one so this is currently unlocked and then we could lock it and it stays in place and then back down now another advantage this has over the rimex which may or may not matter to you is if you have a wide handlebar so the nhl um2 has a wide handlebar so this one actually can't fit on this this one can't now i do have to remove these rubber pieces but it does fit unlike this guy you could tell like i can't i can't screw this in right whereas with there's even space i actually even have to put the rubber piece in there so it can actually fit so this one is more universal. Now when I want more protection, which is typically when I'm riding my faster scooters like the Apollo Phantom or the Segway GT2, both of which can pretty much go around 40 miles an hour and then even above in the case of the GT2, that is crazy fast when you're on a scooter. It's very different than going 40 miles an hour in a car. So in this case, I usually like to wear my full face helmet, which offers a lot more protection than my basic helmet. Granted, I'm very careful not to fall off the thing but you know put this on clip this and stuff and i usually wear my goggles which goes around this and you know takes a bit of effort but once you get there you know full full protection on and you know obviously buckled in so takes a bit of effort to put this on and my cheeks are typically squeezed in so that's that. I like to wear these gloves, which offer knuckle protection and protection here as well. So a whole bunch of stuff that, you know, just in case if you fall, sometimes I actually wear this even when I'm riding my normal scooters, because just in case if I fall, I could, this will at least protect my hand in some shape and form. And you know, you have the carbon fiber right here and Again, when I'm riding the faster ones, I usually even wear these and they offer some side protection and a few other things like, you know, this for the hip and stuff and this side, a little bit for the back for the tailbone and this whole, um, think of it like a vest kind of thing, super back protection here. And these things offer ways of removing this so you can actually wash them, but essentially, 
a whole bunch of protection on this side, shoulder pads built in. So this is kind of like the stealth uh, protection, elbow protection here and here. So overall, and it's pretty easy to wear this. I mean, well, I'm not gonna say pretty easy, but um, okay, I take that back. It's not pretty easy to wear, but it's not that bad. Um, and then you, you know, you just put this on and stuff and zip it up and you're good to go. So for the, so if I'm going for a short trip to the store or something like that, I typically don't wear something like this, but you can just wear like a shirt over this as well. And you have all this type of protection. So I like to be more on the safe side than on the unsafe side. And finally, I also wear knee protection, which this is by the same brand, Liet, I believe it's called. So these three are actually the same brand. And I just slip these over these pants and they offer a, a pretty good amount of protection. So at least when I'm riding, I feel a bit safer with all the stuff on me. I'm like, okay, there's less of a chance I'm gonna hurt myself if I do fall. And if you are wondering, um, well, do I need all this type of protection? Well, that honestly depends on you, but I will say I have ridden scooters quite a bit. I mean, I'm sure some of you guys have ridden way more than me, uh, but typically on the range test where I ride the scooters until it can't go any further, um, I have almost crashed a few times and not necessarily because it was my fault. Like the last time a squirrel ran in front of me while I was going very fast on the GT2. And man, that at that point it was, it was scary because I'm like, squirrel runs and then it decides to turn back because it sees the car on the other side and it starts running my way and I'm getting close and close to it. I mean, I saw it, so I started holding the brakes. I'm like, okay, just in case, but you never know. So better to be safe than sorry. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.